Hello, and welcome to another exciting development update for Laidout. I'm going to talk about the text tool some and show you some new things that I've been working on. So uh, let's make some other text here we can work with. Uh, this is a, a good topical phrase. Fraternity. All right, so now let's get these things situated. Uh, I want to center these, so use the alignment tool. And let's tighten them up a little. Okay, then let's put a kind of a background there. Um, so I can do four points, then close it, uh, select them all, then make them a rectangle. Fill, change the fill color to white, bring it to the background. All right, so let's go back to the text tool now. Um, so, oops, I actually want to go to this thing and change the, I don't want a white background, I want it kind of a gray background, so... Uh, do, 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 do. Oops. Do, do, do. Okay, so let's get rid of that and then go back to the text tool. And let's make this one. Uh, well, let's make it red. Let's make this one blue. Make this one white. Um, so one thing about the keyboards in the United States is that we don't have those outrageous French accents, so we have to do a little something extra to make those things appear. There's a couple different ways to do that now. One way is you can type the accent like that and then press Control J and it will combine the two. There's various other stuff, like if you have a colon, you can you can do stuff like that. Um, so but right now we just need those accents. Uh, let's do that for this one. And then go back. Uh, what's another way to do it? If you forget Control J, but you remember Control I, then you can insert a character in here. Um, this particular font has a ton of stuff that you can, s ton of different characters you can select from. Uh, so right now I want the E, the big E with the accent on it, which is right there. You can get rid of the old one. So now you have those fonts, uh, but let's say that's not quite good enough. Let's say you want all three of these colors in the same font. Then to do that, you can open up the, the newly reconfigured font dialog. Um, there's a few enhancements here. Uh, so one, you can control the background preview, uh, the color here. Um, these things here are tags that if you have font matrix installed, then you can I have laid out automatically detect those font tags. So I have several different overlay fonts on the system. There's this little thing down here called layers. So if you activate those, um, let's use, let's go for the, the DIN OSP. Um, so for one layer, it's gonna do medium. Let's do the next one, overlay, and then the middle one, outline. They're not quite in order. So like if I have that one red, then that one blue, then that one's a white. And let's change the, the background of that so we can see it a little better. Um, so uh, let's see, I think that maybe is, yeah, so you can rearrange fonts just by, or the layers just by dragging. And uh, that's how you do layered color fonts. Um, they have to be in separate files right now. You can't have the, the fancy open type color font features yet. I'm working on that as well as a HarfBuzz backend, but it's not quite ready yet. So it's, uh, it's getting there, but not quite ready. So hit OK, and there's your, there's your fancy color font. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, many more plans for this. Um, see you next time.